welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about leaky gut, which is a potential underlying cause for a whole host of health issues, including various autoimmune issues, hormone imbalances, digestive issues, any sort of inflammation related issues, etc. And a lot of people are dealing with leaky gut and the consequences of it without really knowing it because it doesn't always manifest as digestive symptoms, but a lot of people are developing it because of just modern lifestyle, modern food supply, modern environmental toxins, and all of these things can kind of come together and cause leaky gut. So I wanted to make a quick little video talking about what it is, symptoms, potential causes, and five steps you can take to start healing your gut if you think you might have leaky gut. Your intestines are designed to digest food and allow certain key vitamins and minerals that the body needs to pass through the intestinal lining into the bloodstream and into the body so that they can go where they need to go and do what they need to do while keeping waste products in the digestive tract and eliminating them from the body. So the intestinal wall or lining is made up of a bunch of cells that are held together with tight junctions. And these are essentially the glue that hold the cells together, but allow certain key nutrients to pass through. So they're where all of this gets regulated. But when these tight junctions become leaky, they start to let more through into the body and out of the digestive system than should be getting out. Partially digested food, toxins, bacteria, and other harmful byproducts of digestion pass through the tight junctions and into the body and start causing issues. And this is leaky gut. And these particles that are escaping through the intestinal lining are essentially seen by the body as foreign invaders because they're not supposed to be there. They're supposed to be eliminated. And so the body mounts an immune response and this results in inflammation. And when this happens chronically, it can result in obviously chronic inflammation, which is no good for disease and also dysregulation of the immune system. And this can cause a whole host of downstream side effects. I went into a lot of symptoms of gut issues in my last video, so I'll link that down below if you want an in-depth deep dive into all of this. But some of the biggest side effects that you might see are gastrointestinal issues or digestive issues, if you're getting a lot of bloating, cramping, if your poop's not looking like it should, nausea, always feeling full, etc. But also hormone imbalances, difficulty losing weight or maintaining weight, mood dysregulation, low energy, brain fog, autoimmune issues, skin issues, joint issues, any like chronic pain caused by inflammation, all of those things could tie back to leaky gut. So what can cause this? Number one is diet. The modern diet full of processed foods, excess sugar, gluten and dairy, if you're intolerant to those things, etc., can wreak havoc on the gut. It just goes in there and starts tearing it apart. The way modern processed foods are processed often leads to the foods being more inflammatory and damaging to the gut when you ingest them. Alcohol can compromise the gut lining. Stress, which creates more cortisol in the body, also compromises the gut lining. There's lots of common environmental toxins that can cause damage. Vitamin D deficiency can be a big one. Vitamin D itself is really critical for maintaining the structure of the gut lining. Also glutathione deficiency. Glutathione is an antioxidant that is really critical in maintaining and repairing the gut lining and poor diet and lifestyle itself can lead to depletion of glutathione in your body. And then hormone imbalances and autoimmune issues can also cause leaky gut. So leaky gut can cause those things, but they can also cause leaky gut, which means it could end up in a very vicious cycle if you develop any of these things. But you know, if you give yourself a hormone balance because you are overtraining and under eating, that in itself, because your body can't produce the amount of hormones that it needs to stay healthy, is going to potentially compromise your gut lining. And then similar with autoimmunity, you could develop it for a different reason. And then because the body is in overdrive, it's not gonna be able to repair and restore and protect the integrity of the gut lining as well. There are also certain medications that can contribute to leaky gut, and this isn't to say like throw away all medications, they're terrible, but just like be aware. Um, corticosteroids being one of the big ones that can compromise the integrity of your gut lining, but also things like antibiotics, antacids, certain medications for arthritis. And then lastly, infections, overgrowth of yeast, bacteria, um, parasites, all of these things can, you know, make the gut a little bit less 
strong. So maybe you have some symptoms. Maybe you have leaky gut. Where can you start to start healing it? Because the good news is you should be able to reverse the damage that has been done to your gut. Step one is to identify and remove anything that is possibly causing the issue or making it worse. So things that are irritating your gut lining. One of the biggest things that you can do here is just eliminate foods that cause inflammation in the body. So processed foods, excess sugar, alcohol, refined oils, artificial additives, fillers, etc. And then generally I would recommend gluten and dairy. Even if you don't necessarily know if you have a sensitivity to it, you're like, oh, I think I'm fine. Like might as well just get rid of them. If you're going through these issues, like just get rid of gluten and dairy. Then also eliminate any other potential food sensitivities. I strongly recommend doing an elimination diet for this. There's variety of different ways you can do an elimination diet. You can do paleo, whole 30, you can even go carnivore if you really want to go for it, whatever it might be. But if you are regularly consuming foods that your body is intolerant to or overly reactive or sensitive to, it's going to be really hard for your body to heal if you're still consuming them. And then you may also want to eliminate caffeine as this can potentially aggravate the gut lining. Outside of your diet, eliminating potential irritants can look like going through all of your household cleaning products and making sure they are as non-toxic as possible so that as you are inhaling and thus ingesting some small parts of the cleaning products that you're using, they're not getting down in there and causing issues in your gut. Then step number two, now that you are giving your body the space to heal by eliminating things that are causing damage, is to follow a gut healing diet. And this is mostly going to look like a diet that is as anti-inflammatory for your body as possible. Because if you have leaky gut, you already have way too much inflammation going on. And so the more you can lower that through your diet, the easier it's going to be for your body to repair your gut. Now, I wish I could give you guys like a very specific diet to follow, but with bioindividuality, different people are going to respond differently to different things, especially if your leaky gut is being caused by different issues. This is not a one size fits all approach. So you might want to test out a couple different diets, keep a food log, see how your body's responding. Whatever diet helps you essentially feel the best and reduce your negative symptoms the most is probably gonna be the diet that is going to help you heal most efficiently. So some suggestions for diets to look into. Number one is a paleo diet. With its emphasis on whole unprocessed foods, healthy fats, healthy protein sources, lots and lots of vegetables, you're giving your body a lot of the nutrients that it needs to do the repair work that it needs to do. And you're also, ideally, if you're doing the diet correctly, eating a lot of foods that are anti-inflammatory as well. You can also try intermittent fasting. Your body needs space and time to heal. If you are constantly eating and thus your body is also constantly trying to digest, it's going to be spending more energy on that rather than energy that it needs to be spending on repairing your tight junctions of your gut. And then a third suggestion would be a low FODMAP diet. This is going to decrease the fermentable carbohydrates in your diet that may be feeding some bad bacteria that are contributing to the leaky gut. So if you stop feeding those bacteria, then you might be giving your gut more space to heal. So those are a few different specific diets to try, but as a whole, I'd recommend focusing on whole unprocessed foods, increasing your fiber intake to help feed the good bacteria, increasing your consumption of specifically anti-inflammatory foods. So these are things like turmeric, ginger, fatty fish, like salmon, blueberries, amazing, green tea. If you just Google anti-inflammatory foods, you'll find a whole list eat as much of them as you can. And then a bonus food, or I guess beverage, to add in is bone broth. If you're cutting caffeine, maybe start your day with a cup of bone broth instead. It is rich in collagen and gelatin and amino acids like glutamine, which all can help repair the gut lining. Like those are literally the building blocks that your body needs to repair the gut lining. And so you're just giving more of your body what it needs to do what it needs to do. So removing irritants from your diet and your lifestyle, as well as decreasing inflammation through your diet, and maybe some healthy lifestyle changes, add in some exercise, that's also helpful, but decreasing inflammation, removing irritants, those things, huge. That can help dramatically. But the third thing that you can do is to add in specific things that are going to help with gut lining repair. There are key nutrients that play a significant role in strengthening the gut lining through fueling the cells of the intestines to promote tissue repair, restoring the balance of the gut microbiome, reducing inflammation, aiding in barrier integrity, and contributing to cellular regeneration and immune function within the gut. Basically, 
basically there are key nutrients that you can add that can help create an environment in the gut that are going to support repair and integrity against future damage. And there are many different supplements that you can add to help with this process. The one that I am most excited about right now is Microbiome Breakthrough from Bioptimizers. This is their signature gut repair supplement. I was taking this for a couple months before I went low histamine and now that I'm done being low histamine, I have added it back in because I notice a significant improvement in my digestive health when I do consume it regularly. But it is synergistically designed to help weed out the bad bacteria as well as feed the good bacteria and repair the gut lining. So it's hitting your gut from all angles. It's a powerful combo of an ingredient called IGY Max, as well as Symbiotics, which is a combo of probiotics and prebiotics, as well as collagen and bone broth. IGY Max is a really interesting and potentially powerful ingredient when it comes to healing leaky gut. It's hyper immunized egg powder, and it can enhance gut health, support repair from damage done to the gut, and help reduce immunity threats to the gut. It supports a healthy gut barrier by reducing inflammatory stress. It improves gut function by promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria. It provides targeted immune protection against 26 different human-based bacteria, and it helps regulate the release of inflammatory cytokines. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that IGY Max is possibly one of the most powerful gut-restoring supplements ever discovered, and that's why it's in Microbiome Breakthrough. This also has the right combination of probiotics and prebiotics that are gonna help eliminate bad bacteria, feed the good bacteria, repair the gut lining, and support your immunity. And then lastly, the chocolate flavor has bone broth and collagen, which as I said before, rich in glutamine, which is a key fuel source for your gut lining. Also rich in proline and glycine, which support collagen formation in the gut and help maintain its structure. And then lastly, it also helps produce mucus. So it supports the mucosal layer in the gut, which is very, very critical for protecting your gut lining and making it less permeable. So this combo of ingredients is what makes Microbiome Breakthrough a powerhouse of a gut healing supplement. But not only does it have some of the best gut healing ingredients, it also tastes amazing and it comes in a powder form. I'm almost out, um, but as you can see, nice little powder that you can add to almond milk. You can add it to your coffee. You can add it to your smoothies. Now that I'm not low histamine anymore, I'm gonna be prepping a batch of my chocolate frosty smoothie bowl. I will be adding this in in the morning. But lately, I have been drinking it in almond milk at night after dinner as a little like post-dinner fun, delicious gut healing beverage. Comes in two delicious flavors, cardboard chocolate and vegetarian vanilla. Super easy to just add in to your daily routine. And it can completely transform your gut health and immunity, helping you deal with fewer digestive issues, less gas and bloating, and even less illness. So if you have been experiencing symptoms of leaky gut, I highly recommend starting here for a supplement that can help with gut repair. And right now, Bioptimizers is giving you guys 10% off if you go to bioptimizers.com slash fit and nerdy and use the code fit and nerdy at checkout. And it comes with a 365 day money back guarantee. So like you literally have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So I'll leave a link down in the description box below. Check it out. Beyond Microbiome Breakthrough, which is a very like comprehensive supplement, there are a lot of other little supplements that you can sprinkle in as well to support your gut. The next is a digestive enzyme. These can help break down food more efficiently, which is just gonna put less stress on the gut. Coincidentally, Bioptimizers does also have a digestive enzyme. It's called Mastzymes. Highly recommend checking out this one as well. I started using this at the same time I started using this and great, fantastic combo. Next is L-glutamine, which is considered one of the top supplements for healing leaky gut because it is essentially directly fuel for enterocytes and colonocytes. And those are essentially the cells that make up the intestinal barrier. Low levels of glutamine in your body are correlated with disruption to gut barrier integrity, as well as inflammation and other digestive issues. Then there's zinc, which research does show may have the potential to modulate the strength of the gut barrier. Also aloe vera, a little bit less research here, but it is thought to support the mucosal lining of the gut as well as help reduce inflammation. And then vitamin D is also super critical for gut barrier function and integrity. So if you're deficient, then supplementing in that could be really beneficial. So you're reducing inflammation in your gut. You're adding things in that are going to support gut barrier integrity. You're doing all these great things for your body. Next thing you can do, thing number four that you can add in specifically is to support your your microbiome, support the flourishing of the healthy bacteria in your gut. The beneficial bacteria in your gut help produce things like short-chain fatty 
acids like butyrate that nourish the cells of the gut, helping keep it strong and resilient. They also help with the integrity of the tight junctions. So all of that is just gonna add up to less leaky of a gut. A balanced microbiome also helps regulate the immune system. So that's going to kind of help on the other side of things, right? Because if you have leaky gut and things are getting into your body and your immune system's overactivated, it goes into that vicious cycle. So if you can balance your microbiome and help calm down the immune system, then you're just putting your body in a much more calm place where it can actually start to heal. And then the last way that this can help is to keep the bad bacteria in check. If the bad bacteria are in there causing all of their issues, degrading the lining of your gut, then the more good bacteria you add in, the less you're gonna have that bad bacteria and just the easier it's gonna be again for your body to start healing itself. One of the best ways to support the proliferation of healthy bacteria in your gut is to directly add them to your system. You can add in a lot of probiotic containing foods like yogurt, kimchi, kombucha, basically anything fermented is gonna come with a lot of good bacteria. You can also add in a probiotic supplement. Bioptimizers also has one of those, it's their P3OM. You can also add in prebiotic foods. These are gonna be foods that feed the good bacteria that are already in your gut. These are things like garlic, onions, asparagus, bananas. Again, you can just Google prebiotic food list and you'll find a ton of them. Just Add them in. And then step number five is more lifestyle modification factors rather than diet. And this is to emphasize with as though your life depends on it. Good quality sleep and managing your stress. Chronic stress triggers the release of cortisol in your body, which in itself can be damaging to the gut in excess and can also contribute to inflammation, which also can damage the gut. Stress also negatively affects the balance of bacteria in your gut. It can lead to proliferation of the bad bacteria or compromising the health of the good bacteria. And as we just talked about, that balance, super important for maintaining your gut barrier integrity. High stress levels also interfere with your digestive process in the sense that it can slow the production of digestive enzymes and stomach acid, which is going to just put extra load on the digestive system to try to break down all these foods and if it's already on a struggle bus you don't need to make it struggle anymore and then lastly stress disrupts cellular repair mechanisms if your body is getting stressed from all different angles it's gonna have a lot harder time focusing on the stressor that you want it to work on ie repairing your gut barrier and instead your body's gonna be focusing on fixing all of the various stressors so like the more stress you can get rid of the more your body can focus on the thing that you need it to heal. So I recommend incorporating stress reduction practices like meditation, regular deep breathing. I actually recently started doing this thing again that I was doing a while ago. Um, I have three, three alarms set on my phone for noon, three and six. I don't know, three alarms set on my phone um, to just go off throughout the day. And when it goes off, I take just a second, like literally just like less than a minute to just like take a couple big deep breaths to get my body back into that parasympathetic state, make sure I'm not stressing the heck out. And then I carry on with my day really easy. And then with sleep, sleep helps keep the stress hormone cortisol in check. So the better quality your sleep, the less physically stressed your body's going to be. Poor sleep can also contribute to increased inflammation. As we said, that's bad news bears for your gut. And then feel like this doesn't get talked about enough. Your gut microbiome actually follows a circadian rhythm. So it's not just like your brain that's on a circadian rhythm. The little microbes in your gut, also circadian rhythm. And so if you are not sleeping in rhythm with your gut, then you are going to disrupt the balance in your microbiome. And that can obviously contribute to leaky gut. And then lastly, the body does the most repair when you are sleeping. I've talked about this in depth for like exercise recovery. Like if you are working out regularly, if you're trying to build muscle, your body is building most of that muscle while you are sleeping because it is repairing the damage that you did to it during your workout. But this doesn't just apply to exercise recovery. It applies to healing all tissues of your body. Your body is going to be most effective at doing this while you are asleep. So the more high quality sleep you can get, the more chance you're giving your body to do all of the repairing that it needs to do. And that's it. Those are the five first huge steps that you can take to repairing your gut if you have leaky gut. And I just wanna close this video out by emphasizing again that I think a lot of people have leaky gut that aren't aware of it because the symptoms of it can be 
not seemingly digestive related and because there is just such a prevalence in the modern world of things that contribute to leaky gut. For a long time, leaky gut was disregarded by the general medical community as like not a real thing. Um, but in the last few years, lo and behold, intestinal hyperpermeability has become something that people are starting to get diagnosed with. Intestinal hyperpermeability, leaky gut, same thing. It's just a fancy way of saying leaky gut. And I do anticipate that in the next few years, we're gonna get a lot more really helpful information about this now that it is actually starting to be recognized as an actual thing that is happening to people. If you think you have leaky gut or if you have dealt with leaky gut and have healed it, please let me know down in the comments below. If you did heal, let me know what worked for you. Share so that everyone else watching this video can read the comments and get all of the knowledge that you have. In the meantime, if you liked the video, please give a big thumbs up. It really does support me and my channel. I really genuinely appreciate it. Please share this video with your friends, your family, your gym buddies. If you want to see more content from me all about health and fitness, you can check it out over here. To see future videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell so you get notified when I post a video and I will see you very soon. Bye!